Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Divine Spur, and Happy New Year! Hope you've all had a good holiday season. So, here are the winners from my lucky draw. We have Robert Bailey, and Robert, oh sorry, Randy E. Miller. So I'll contact you both to see how you'd like your prize. Um, whether it's going to be console credit or in-game stuff. So yeah, enjoy! As you can see, uh, I've started playing around with the uh, E75. Um, I've got it stock at the moment, and uh, I've included a little bit of footage of me uh, attempting to get this thing to work. I'm a little disappointed in it so far. Um, the gun's underwhelming when it's stock, and when I first took it out, I didn't find the depression to be that good. But that could just be because I've been playing a lot of British tanks recently, who tend to have quite nice depression on their guns. Okay, Sand River, a nice map and I'm top tier, which is nice, but stock tank, so yeah, yeah, assault and we're defending, which means the team's going to YOLO off in random places probably, so uh, that's what I plan to do. Uh, as ever, I'm going to move along the top line in this map, because um, that's generally where the team always seems to go whenever I'm playing this, and I was getting tired of being caught out by myself getting murdered. Yeah, see here is when I started playing around to see what my gun depression was like, and mm, it just didn't feel good. It's not too shabby when it comes to driving around. It still feels a bit slow and sluggish, but I wouldn't expect it to be a, a racing car yeah, as a stock tank. Um, I could probably have pushed maybe to the middle ridges a little bit more, but yeah, with my inexperience with this tank, I'd just get destroyed really quickly. I'd end up over committing over a ridge line or something, and somebody would just nail me through my lower plate, set me on fire, kill my crew, and uh, blow my turret off. I was actually surprised here that uh, we got up here uncontested so far. Um, I was expecting the Reds to have somebody up on the hill just opposite us at, uh, was that A5? A5, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, A5, that'd be a surprise. Um, A9. And it looks like we could have a little bit of teamwork and cooperation going on here. Both taking turns doing our shots, which is always nice. just could not damage this guy from this point. I was getting really annoyed. That was an unlucky shot, just went over his back. Enemies looking right at us. Okay, at this point I noticed the uh, medium tank moving up there to where I thought the red would be by now, and decided to go contest it. So it seems to be quite nippy going downhill. See, at this point, we're three tanks down, four tanks down, and I'm feeling, yeah, a little bit guilty. Yeah, I'm top tier heavy tank, I should be in the middle of the battle. And uh, here I am, basically effectively redlining the map, which isn't good or sociable. I was really hoping the Comet would be parked just down here and I could just ram murder him. But he wasn't. I'm also really glad they didn't have TDs camping their caps at their camp, because uh, otherwise they'd start picking me apart right about now. I wasn't too bothered about the uh, Comet picking at me here.
seem to spontaneously get murderized by somebody. Send out a great shot. I think it's always nice to send out things like the great shots and thank yous. Oh, I missed again. That's so annoying. I always seem to have trouble with these uh, Swedish tanks, and I, yeah, I, I hate them. I think they're ugly. Um, but I find their armor to be and their angling to be a lot more troll than, say, on the French autoloaders. But then I remember when they were introduced, the general consensus was that uh, they'd be similar to the French autoloaders, just better. Ooh, free XP! Nom 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 nom. As you can see, I'm contributing a great deal to the match here by harvesting XP and damage off of this uh, tier 7 tank destroyer. Vital part of the enemy team. Yeah, if I don't destroy that, yeah, clearly they're going to win. Now, amazingly, by this point, um, I'd picked up uh, 1500 damage. I was quite surprised by that. Um, completely pointless damage because we're losing horribly and I haven't really contributed to the match, but you know. I thought we could have a dramatic last stand here with the little TD guy from earlier, but a bit too late. I had Amanard about maybe telling him to drop back. Uh, see, I was just slow here. Um, hadn't played for a couple of days and have been a bit under the weather. Slow tank. Actually, hit that one. Overextending is the name of the game. Watch me creep forwards. No, I must get that damage. Creepy, creepy, creep. What are you looking at? Yeah, you get down. I feel really sorry for the TD on the ridge. It's a terrible place to be. In your hatch. Not a fair trade of damage at all. Just looking at it here, it actually seems to be quite mobile. Uh, and I do wonder if it'll play more like a overweight medium tank than a heavy when fully upgraded. Basically here I'm just trying to figure out who it is who's going to murder me. No, my snapshot missed. And here I die. And tears were shed. There was much wailing and gnashing of teeth. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, <laughs> I'll catch you all later.